Hello, and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to paint this realistic lion's mane. Now I'm using oil paints for this, but you can totally achieve the same techniques and look with acrylics. All right, let's begin. Do you dream of painting realistic wildlife, but you just, you don't know where to begin? Then consider this your personal invitation into the Wildlife Painting Academy. Get access to a large library of real-time, in-depth tutorials, and learn how to paint your favorite animals easily. Check it out in the link of the description of this video. So here I'm starting out by sort of sketching in where the chunks of fur and mane are going to go. Here I'm using my brush and a little bit of the paint that I'm going to be using, but you can easily do this with pencil as well. I'm going to start off by blocking in my darkest parts of my painting first, just to set a nice foundation. Now I'm going to go in and block in the next darkest tone that you're going to see, which is going to be this gorgeous dark rusty color, and it's going to set an awesome foundation for our lion mane. We're going to start to build up a little bit of light and color now, so kind of going in with a lighter tone to fill in the rest of the mane. Now it's time to start building up some of the texture that we're going to see in the mane. So those individual hairs. So I'm going in with a lighter yellow tone and starting to actually put in some of those hairs. Pay attention to the way that I am stroking my brush. Animals do not have perfectly straight fur. So if you try to emulate some of the chaos involved when it comes to fur, it's actually going to make it look a lot more realistic. Now I'm going in with my same dark paint from before and I'm going to define some of those hair chunks and that's where hair kind of sticks together and it's going to create some cast shadows underneath. Take some time to blend out your brush strokes a little bit so that everything looks nice and soft. I'm going to go in with a dark paint again and just strengthen some of those shadows, giving everything a lot more structure and shape. Now is when we can start to go and actually build up more of that fur detail and texture. So now you want to set your painting aside for a few days for it to dry completely and then we're going to go in with a glaze layer and here I am mostly using a dark glaze because I was happy with how saturated and rich the main was but I wanted to add a little bit more darkness so that's why I'm going to go in with a dark glaze and really amp up those shadows to give it some really nice dynamic shape and form. And now it's time for all of those super fun final details. Grab your favorite liner brush and a light colored paint and start adding those details. Enjoy this part of the process. It is one of my favorite parts. And we're done. Hopefully you found this helpful and now you can feel a little more prepared to paint your own lion's mane. 
Now, if you're the type of person that wants full instructions on how to paint this with real time, all the paint mixing, every step, and my voice walking you through every moment of it, then I think you would love the Wildlife Painting Academy. You can check it out in the link of this description. All right, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.